So a while back I bought a go-kart for the kids uh, from a guy who was uh, Turn left. highly medicated. At your destination. Uh, now I'm going to look at another one and it might be the same situation. So the guy's asking 150, I already got him down to, I offered 50 and, and he countered 75 and it looks like a similar place. So we're going to find out. I got to send him a text now. Oh yeah. I got the go-kart. And this is the place I got it from. This is strange. The place is a wreck. This whole property is a wreck. Um, there's like, you know, just piles of trash everywhere. Vehicles everywhere. Got a welding rig over there. Maybe this dude's a welder, I don't know. Uh, it's another house over here with an old GMC, you know, C10 style truck. Busted up the expedition, burned up motorhome, and he's driving a brand new, like, hybrid F 150 with handicap plates. So, the go kart frame I got is uh, it's really solid, really good frame. It's got a roll cage that's in great shape. You can kind of see it in there. We, uh, I had him help me put it in, and it's too tall for my camper shell just by a couple inches. So, I was about to take the roll cage off, and the dude says, Well, Maybe we could put it in there sideways, and it fit. Look at that. This seems like one of the let's let's build a seat and slap an engine on it situations. Okay. Nelly's gonna check out her go kart frame for the first time. We're gonna we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see what we need to do, and we're gonna start working on it. And Lily's gonna have her own, herself a go kart, right? Heck yeah. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's a little bit rusty. It's like this gate that it's on. Yeah, but no big deal, right? What's this say? Yes. Carter Brothers Manufacturing, Brundage, Alabama. Hey, it's an American made. They even got a, a serial number. Part number and serial number. This is, I could paint. probably look that up. It's paint. Some of it. Like, it's not chipping off. Yeah, some it's of the paint's old. really good. This is a really solid, sturdy go kart. Um, it's got the wheel, it turns, oh, there's even a seat belt. there sure is, like they're cut, but th we could put seat belts if you want them. I know, wait, look, look, there's paw print. This is a cat paw print. Maybe this it's was so a cat. Here's a kill switch on off. It's a good location actually. So it's got a seat back and a seat bottom, but I think we need to build cushions for it. Yeah, Wonder, like Sam's go-kart. Look, sit on it and scoot forward. Scoot forward so you could reach the pedals. I guess we'll make that back seat back really thick. <laughs> what do you think? You like it? Yeah. This one it feels like cool, and this one feels hard. Yeah, that's the, the brake. We need to put a return spring or something on that. It's got a drum brake there. So what do you think? You like it? Yeah. It's a monkey bar. And Lily wants to paint this thing pink. Right, baby? Yeah. And you got monkey bars, so you could you could play. Think you're gonna drive it like that with your head sticking out? No. What? That would be like a Jeep. Yeah. With no hood. This or, is cool, huh? No top. So this thing's in good shape. It's in better shape than our last go-kart. Do you wanna go check out that pressure washer and maybe we could tear it apart and get the engine off of it? Yeah. Let's go find it. Right, oh, it's not a horizontal shaft. We can't use this. Dang, so we don't have an engine. Come in, bud. It's too hot for him. Well, he does have a black coat of fur on. I don't have any engines, baby. I used to have some engines laying here. I guess I got rid of them. Well, dang. All right, well, I guess, I guess our next bet the next thing we need to do, I'll be on the hunt for some pressure washers or something that has a horizontal shaft engine. And uh, what we could do is go get your paint. Lily wants to paint it pink.
silly Lily's working hard. Look at that face. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. is on there might need, need to do a little touch up here and there but um i had somebody reach out to me to want to give me some equipment or uh sell me some equipment today and uh at scrap value they told me to make them an offer and i did so 32 dollars was what it came out to but uh i offered i gave him 50 and i got this plus partner zero turn a honda 5000 watt uh, generator and a pressure washer Husqvarna zero turn needs a dry belt or it stopped driving. I'll be able to figure that out. The pressure washer, the pump is bad, but this is the perfect engine for Lily's go-kart, which we've been hunting for for the last couple days now. So, and it starts and runs. So, here's the engine we got for Lily's go-kart. What do we got to do? What's the first thing we should do? We have to take it off of this thing because if it stays on there, then I'll have a giant thing on my go-kart. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's easier to take the pump off while it's mounted on something, so let's get the, the pump off. Oh, yeah, that does a lot. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there's the handle. Good job. Now, we gotta get these, these nuts out, or these bolts out right here. <laughs> yeah. That was loose. Good deal. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do this one here. I think the other Good one. Good deal, Pippa. Try to hit the. Don't pick this one. Watch your feet. There you go. Okay. That's alright. We gotta get this hose off of here. Oh, that's it's somebody. Got wet. Yeah, it should be wet. Somebody squeeze it and unloosen it. Uh, is that grease? It's water something. Oh. You got it, baby. Dirty. It's stinky water. Yeah, don't worry about it. Water's water. Some water stinks, some water doesn't. Wait, does this need to be tightened? See, what you're doing is what it needs to do. You're doing great. Uh, we're not going to use those most likely. Yeah, that's so it. So the engine is going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That's nuts. That was under pressure. <laughs> you know what? Oh, it stinks. He said that nothing came out of it. I bet you his gun is messed up. Yeah. I bet Just you this gun. pump works fine. But, I don't need a pump. I guess I need to my shirt now. Maybe I could put the pump on that one. It has a bad pump. Ugh, it's all over me. Oh, well, guys. That's why you're wearing work clothes. Come on. Wait, you got another one? I have another pressure washer there. It just has the wrong engine. Ugh. All right. At least it's just water. That's right. It's just it water. It wasn't gas. Who cares? All right, let's pull these uh, bolts out. So a lot of times these pumps get stuck on there. They get stuck on the shaft, but this one already moved. Look at that, it's moving. All right, baby, yeah, you, oh, look at that. that it came right off. But I think that's a good pump, actually. Is the shaft good? Uh, whoa, front heavy. Yeah, the shaft looks fine. It's a small shaft, like three quarter or five eighths or whatever. I'll take this off here. Is it gonna come off easy? Um, let's see. That was easy. There it is. The engine's off. It, that is actually a pretty color. Yeah, it'll look okay on uh with the pink body. Yeah. Look how much better that looks already. That's so pretty. And when you push it on. There Got it. Go. Now we need the bolt. We'll just put that hand tight for now. We'll tighten it up later, I guess. All right. Good job. There Here's go. the nut. Looking pretty sharp, huh? Yeah. It's huge. It is pretty big. But, but the seat is small. Yeah. We need to get some material for the seat. Now, I don't know how we're going to do the seat. I got material, but I don't have anything to attach the material to, and I don't know how they attached it to this. 
There's no holes anywhere. Yeah. How in the world did they do it? They had like slip covers or something? Stitched on pads? There's a hole right here. Yeah, that's to bolt it to the inside the go-kart. So, I need to get pieces of wood that are the exact same size as those um, metal. Okay, it's far from perfect, but it's perfect from afar. That's all we need. So that's highly visible. Much better. I'll chop these off with this saw, and then I'll hit them with, I guess, my uh, my um, sawzall. This. Well, I guess I'll do it like this. Popsicle? It's like 400,000 degrees outside. <laughs> Are you going to get me one? Yeah. My girl. <laughs> oh this tripod is absolute garbage. Uh, so I got my corners. Well, no, I don't. I didn't finish. I'll do this one. time I did one of these I used a, a router to clean up the edges I think I'll do that again 11 inches 11 and a quarter it's a little fat there 23 22 and <laughs> 22 and three quarter ish almost 23 man I did not do a good job there you got me a popsicle lemon yeah how'd you know I like lemon so much you don't like lemon it's great <laughs> no, it's actually not bad. Thanks, honey. This one's not that bad. It's like strawberry mixed with orange. Yeah. It's not really that good, but it's smooth. <laughs> but I want it really close. What do you think is that? This is the router bit. It's going to cut that edge on the seat so it doesn't cut the material. A weird little notch there. Now, we're not going for perfection. We're going for get the job done. And you guys can't even see anything. Now maybe, can you see? Let's do this side now. Okay, 
It's not perfect, but it's better. We'll take some sandpaper and do a little final sand right there because it left a little peak. Because where the little roller went, it went into the recessed area. But uh, that's fine. I'm going to cut the bottom too. Think, baby. Yeah. It's yeah. Awesome. awesome. Now we just need the engine and the steering wheel. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this will look like with an engine on here, since the paint's pretty dry. Looks like the engine will fit. I'm not looking um, that's awfully close. It looks pretty good. I think that's perfect actually. I think the clutch will sit here and this cog will sit right there. Yeah. I need the chain um, and we gotta have to change the orientation of... Stand right in front of the camera. <laughs> we gotta have to change the orientation of the muffler because uh, it goes towards the driver. So we need to get some sort of pipe that turns and, and goes out backwards or something. But um, this pressure washer engines are always backwards the the recoil starters on this side the pretty sides over here it's just what we're gonna work with so that's fine right yeah I want to see the other side oh wait uh, actually I think this might spin the wrong way it will it might we might have to install that 13 horsepower engine on this thing I don't know um, let's see if this starts okay mm -hmm. and we'll watch what way it spins It's spinning is... that way, which is the correct direction. Well, Alright, so this will work. But you see how easy that engine started? Pretty awesome. A free pressure washer with an engine that runs. All we need to do is install it and paint the steering wheel in the middle of it um, silver and install the steering wheel and then we're done. Right? Well, we got a brake pad coming in the mail on Friday. It was, what was it? It was $20 for a four and a half inch drum brake pad. Um, when I measured, it's actually four and three quarter, but the four and three quarter was like $40. So I'm going to try the four and a half and see if it fits. It'll be need, here Friday. What do we need? Don't we need the chain on that thing? We need to get a chain. Um, next thing I'll do is probably install the, might as well bolt the engine down. Uh, I need to get some carriage bolts to do that. Um, so we'll bolt the engine down. I'll put the clutch on if I got the right clutch. And that's when we can measure the chain and find out if it's a, if the clutch matches the chain. And um, how's it feel, by the way? It feels great. You want the steering wheel? Yeah. Go ahead and push that on there and just just see how it feels. Steering is... 
don't right, don't worry about the just just use the steering wheel for looks but uh overall go-kart looks rad lily good choice in color <laughs> you happy yeah you like that thing good five good work baby where's the hub there the kids want to put a milk crate right there it's kind of cool little storage area looks like it went something like that i kind of cleaned up the hub with an angle grinder with a with a flat disc just to kind of give the new pad a better surface to grab because this thing's been sitting so long that the the drum was rusty and um I don't want to immediately inundate that pad with rust. So, it is a galvanized drum. I don't want to take the galvanizing off. Which is why I didn't, um, that's why I didn't sand too much or paint too much on that thing. I just really took the rust off. But, um, alright. Now we got an issue with this back bearing it's loose and it, it doesn't it doesn't uh stay in the wheel i'm not sure what to do about it right now what i'm going to do about it is just ignore it and we'll deal with it some other time okay I'll tell you what lily has been so excited about this project uh, every day she's jumping up and begging me to work on this thing um Man, I haven't seen her this excited about something in a long time. You know, she's real excitable, but this she is extra excited about. So, man, if you ever got the opportunity to do something like this with your kids, uh, it's really cool. And if you can make your daughter feel included in a boy's thing, you know, sometimes they really get a kick out of it. She is loving this, and I'm loving it too. So, um, I can't wait to see her ride this thing. All right, so here's our painted pedal brackets. Missed a little spot there, but oh well. Um, this is the gas pedal. So can you scoot over to the passenger seat? I tried to take the seat out, and for some reason these, the stainless, stainless hardware is galling up and it will not come out. So I guess it's in a bind or something. But uh, we'll figure that out some other time. So let's see if we can put these in with the seat in place. All right, I think it's time to make an exhaust pipe, Lil. I'm going to leave the factory muffler on the engine rather than try to take it off because I think the bolts will break. So we're just going to add an exhaust pipe. And what I'm going to do is cut up the frame to this. Somebody gave me this generator, and they said the, uh, the generator side of it's all busted up. It got flooded and got rusty, and they tore into it, and stuff's missing. But it has like a big bad 13 horse Honda electric start motor. So I'm going to take out that engine and save it for something else. But look at all these pipes that we could use for exhaust pipes. So I'm going to chop this thing up and use, this, use its uh, metal to make Lily's exhaust. Well, hi, Sherman. What you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? Mr. Standard Dachshund, not Mini Dachshund. Huh? What are you up to? You like your bed? I bought him that bed yesterday. And he's already chewed it to pieces. And So I threw it outside. And this is why we can't have nice things, Sherman. Because you chew everything up, buddy. That's that right there. That's why we can't have nice things. See you later. And he's going to hug it. All right, let's take this off. Uh, 7 sixteenths? Nope. Half inch. Nope. Metric. 12. 12 it is. Okay. Really nice handle system. It's going to be a really nice exhaust next. Almost perfect. Oh, 
What was your question? Why do you, why do you even need a uh, exhaust pipe for the engine? Sit down here. Let me show you something. Okay. So imagine you're driving this thing. And what happens to exhaust when you drive, run an engine for a long time? Does it get really, really cold? No. What happens? Really, really hot. Oh. Now imagine your hair is right here. Lean back. What's it touching? That thing. What is that thing? The pipe? The exhaust pipe. This is the factory muffler. So this gets super duper hot. So we will put the exhaust shield back on, but before we do that, I need to, like also the exhaust pipe blows out, or the exhaust blows out of this hole right here. Mm -hmm. Are you looking? That hole. And it's gonna be blowing out your seat. And we don't want to smell fumes, and we don't want hot exhaust gases hitting the seat all the time because it's oh. going to warm you up. So I'm going to have a pipe that redirects this and turns and goes this way and out of here. Okay? That's going to be cool. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to work on. Now, I forgot to film it yesterday, but I built a little exhaust system. I put the cover back on. I was going to remove this muffler, but the bolts were so rusty, I know that they were going to break. So instead, I put the cover back on, I cut up some pieces. This is the handle from that generator I was given. Maybe the grip would have been right here. So I cut some angles and I welded them together and, you know, it ain't pretty. But hey, it's going to work. Um, I already started it up yesterday and, and ran it and it sounds pretty good. I need... Okay, so uh, I think we're just about ready for the first ever startup and potential test run of Lily's go-kart. Um, as you know, I used a pressure washer engine and a common problem with pressure washer en engines are this. Let me show you. So, first off, the exhaust comes out on the wrong side. Most engines that you get for go-karts, the exhaust needs to be coming off the back side, so I had to make this exhaust. Uh, second, there's no real throttle linkage because it's run off a of governor. Well, I disconnected the governor and I ran the factory cable and I did this kind of ghetto. I just, uh, I relocated that switch obviously to under the steering wheel, but um, I just drew the little hole. I had a couple test spots, but I, I ended up putting it there. I ran the cable through the original bracket, the original uh, hole that the linkage goes into, doubled it back. I, I had to, <laughs> I drilled a hole in a uh, quarter 20 bolt and just sandwiched the wires back together. And it works. Uh, it was kind of hanging up, so I ended up having to put a stronger spring right here as like a throttle return spring. The last thing we want is a throttle to stick. You want her driving through obstacles? Where are you going? Oh! You're not the driver anymore. Lily's the driver now. Right? Yeah, don't just turn. You don't turn into that, okay? Yeah, I am. Yeah, go around, then you'll come through it.
good, but it's also good because she can't go too fast. Yeah. All right, Lily, I want you to go down there and do a U-turn and come back and go around the tree, and then you're going to come right through here, okay? Okay. Go for it. traction. Doing a wheelie. your license <laughs> look what you did I didn't look mean you got to. you got burnt tire rubber all over right here gosh from doing your burnouts no it's actually I think it's grease coming off the chain don't touch this super hot watch your leg too because yeah, it's a little it's still looks, a little that looks discolored it's too. a little hot it's gonna be hottest right here right by your arm I'm gonna have to build a better shield here yeah this is broken it's, yeah, Lily. It's slightly broken. I Lily, can't believe this, you broke this, that, this, Lily. This we, this thing we had this since we were like very young. And you broke it? It was very old. Lily, I broke it with the lawnmower the other day. Okay. So, Lily, what do you think about your go kart? It was awesome, but it made my back end you know, sweaty. Made your back sweaty? Yeah. And maybe you need, yeah. to, you gotta shave all your back hair off. No, look, it made my shirt sweaty. That's because it's like 105 degrees outside and it's a vinyl seat. So, do you like it? Yeah, I love it. You love it? Oh, uh, you're yeah. great at driving it. Yeah, but I think it should stop like slipping when I drive. Well, I'd have to change the tires to do that. We'll see about that, okay? 
But right now. And I don't like the whenever I press the brake, the brake, and then I let go and I'm not pressing the pedal. And it, it just, takes off again. Yeah, and it's going. Super well, fast. I'll fix that. That's something I have to work on.